So we are going to run a fuel economy test here. I have exactly 50 milliliters of diesel in here. I've got this whole thing hooked up and I'll take that hose, I'll put it in this jar and we will see how long it takes to empty this. Uh, this is the five kilowatt diesel heater. It is up to temperature. Mine runs around near from 206 to 210, 211 kind of thing. So we will measure how long it takes to use 50 milliliters. We will also run it on low and then low with alpine mode turned on, see how long this will last with fuel. So, set this here. I've got my other phone up here. We've got our start stop here. So I will quickly start this. this up and run it from there. So we will let this run and then I will come back with how long it lasts on fuel. So we are almost out of fuel here. Um, you can see we're just getting the last few drops. We're currently at seven minutes run time. I will wait until that's just about empty. Another few clicks here. Okay, we're starting to get air. Oh, that's a bit. I'm calling it 7.30 is how long we ran. Put this in here. So on high with 50 milliliters of fuel, it ran seven minutes and 30 seconds. Um, what I'm gonna do is I will refill the jar. I will run it on low and then an Alpine mode on low and I will come back and I'll do the math and we will sketch this out so we can see how long it will last on a, uh, on a tank of fuel or how much fuel per hour it uses. So we are on low, we are up the temperature at 146. We'll go through the menu here, voltage, you can see we're on power level one. Um, Alpine mode is not on. So we will come back to this. Come back to here. So now we will take the fuel line out of the, out of the diesel tank. I will run it in this jar. Again, we've got exactly 50 milliliters of gas in there, or diesel in here. And we will see how long it runs on 50 mils. So I will start this quick, take this out, put it in here. And we are in, that bubble will work itself out. And I will come back to you guys once this jar is empty and we will see how long it lasts on low. So we are almost empty here again. We are at 14.45. Uh, we've got a few few clicks left. There's hardly anything there. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm, because it's hard to hold the phone and look at this at the same time, I need two hands for it. I'm going to set this down for just a second. As soon as this is done, I will pause that and I'll get right back to you. Which is showing this wrap just over 15 minutes and we're almost empty here. So as you can see it is empty. Uh, there's maybe one or two more clicks worth of fuel in there but not enough. Um, it was 1945 when it stopped and I've got that back in here. I am going to reset. I will turn it on alpine mode and get back to you and we will see how long it goes in alpine mode. So on low, just regular low, the five kilowatt will last, well, we'll do the math on it, but that's what we got in 50 milliliters. I'll come back, do the math, and we will put it on alpine mode. As you can see, we are on an alpine mode now. Um, I've got the jar filled back up to my level of 50 milliliters of diesel. Um, I'm not gonna film me doing it this time, but I'm gonna, same process, I'll take it out of here into the jar and I will start the timer so we know approximately how long she runs on alpine mode. There's one thing to note, it is running significantly cooler. Um, what was it, 158-ish? Between 146 and 158, we're bouncing between there on low. And we are down to 130 degrees, so it is at 128 there. So in alpine mode, it is significantly cooler. But let's run the uh, fuel test on it, and I will get back to you with the results on that. So we are in alpine mode on the lowest setting. We're currently three minutes into me getting this here. 
As you can see, we got the fuel in here, so we will let this run low, and the next time you hear from me will be when she runs out. So we are just crossing where we did on regular mode, but this time we're in alpine mode. Uh, we're settling in around 124, give or take. And uh, not so much fuel we got left. So I'm gonna finish this up, and same as before, I will stop the clock, and I will show you the time once it's finished. We are at 21.40, and we are just about out. 21.45. And a few more drops we're getting. Not quite sucking air yet, a few more drops. We'll call it at 22 even. Um, I think that's as close as we're gonna get to being perfect. So again, I'll stop that. So that ran 22 minutes on Alpine mode and I will go back, I will do the math in all the modes, I will compare them to some other videos and I will see how this does on fuel. So I did the math on my heater and how long it will last on a tank of fuel. Um, and I also have it broken down to 100 milliliters and that kind of stuff. So you can take a look at this chart and take a look. I'll just briefly break it down for you on high. So that's at the five kilowatt setting because mine's a five kilowatt heater. Um, you can get roughly 12 hours and 30 minutes out of a tank of fuel. Um, I believe it's a five liter fuel tank. And I'm not sure what that is in gallons, a gallon and a half, somewhere in that range. And keep in mind as well, at the bottom of the tank, the inlet is a couple milliliters off or a couple millimeters off the bottom of the tank. So your actual run time might be a little bit less than this because you can't pull right down to the bottom of the tank. But this is theoretically what you could get from a full tank. So on high, 12 hours, 30 minutes. On low, you can get roughly 27 hours and 45 minutes out of a tank. And on alpine mode, you can get roughly 36 hours and 39 minutes from a tank of diesel. So this is fairly consistent with other videos I've seen on this heater. Um, take these numbers as you will, you, as you will, your heater might be a little bit different than mine. If you have an eight kilowatt, you're obviously going to use a little bit more. If you have a two kilowatt heater, you're probably going to use a little bit less different brands. I'm not sure if they're, they're different amounts. Um, again, mine's the Viver five kilowatt heater, and these are just my rough estimate on run times for it.